character, um, Giovanni, is a very, very young guy. In the first few episodes, he's made a, he's made a cardinal uh, at the age of 16, which is practically unheard of. It's a great honour to become a cardinal. And, and Lorenzo the Magnificent, his father, who was a, a very, very well-respected person throughout Rome during that time, he, um, he paid for Giovanni to become the cardinal before he died. He's got a lot of responsibility and weight on his shoulders at such a young age. And he's a, kind of, he's a kind of gentle guy. He disapproves of the underhand nature of, of a lot of the politics of this time, especially in the church. He starts off especially being a very pure guy. He's quite trusting of people as well, trusting of, of, of Cesare and trusting of Rodrigo. And I think he, he tries to see the good in people. What I first attracted me to this role was uh, just the quality of the whole, the whole script just blew me away. And I kind of used my own emotion for Giovanni. Use, my, use the emotion of arriving in this place and, and not quite knowing what to do and not quite being accustomed to the atmosphere. And uh, yeah, it was quite useful actually, just to feel completely like a kind of fish out of water almost, kind of a bit out of my depth and a bit scared. But the costume and the set, I think it'd be incredibly hard not to just get swept along by it. The costume completely changes your body because you can't, you can't move. In, in, in the naturalistic way. You can't move in the same way when you have to think about the, just the sheer size of these costumes. So they already transport you out of yourself. And I think for an actor that's just, you need something that will do that. Some actors use music and some actors use, use uh, other things and role models and stuff. For me, it's always been how I feel in the, in the costume. And this just help, makes me hold myself in a different way. And because everybody else is dressed like it as well, you can see how it's affecting everybody, and you're all kind of swept along together. No, really, the costume and the set as well. The set's just fantastic. When you're in there, you kind of, you kind of forget about the real world, and when you come out of the set and being in there all day, it's kind of, oh yeah, all this stuff does exist, you know. And then you just completely forgotten about why you're in there. So yeah, oh, it helps so much. But even before I took on this project, the Borgia and the family and everything surrounds that is a kind of is a kind of byword and a shortcut for corruption and and kind of a, a certain kind of evil people when they're when they're talking about political family in in britain who are into nepotism sort of oh, like the borgias you know and that's always been around the thing that attracted me to this to the adaptation is the extremity of it i like that i just think if you if you if you're going to make a program about about this kind of distastefulness and this kind of, you need to be as extreme as possible. There's no point in diluting anything. And I like that about this, that it doesn't shy away from the, because it's not, it's not um, sensationalizing or, or kind of you know, glorifying the details. It's saying this is, what, this is what was going on, isn't it terrible? That's what I like about it. And, and the more terrible you make it, the more it's going to have an impact. There's no point in going half measures on anything. People need to know that this kind of stuff is going on and see it. Uh, Czech Republic is fantastic. I came here with my parents about five years ago for a holiday and I was just completely, um, just the architecture is just so stunning. Quite often when you say, when, when you say to people a place feels like you're going back in time, it's quite a negative thing. But I think this is a very positive thing about this place. You can imagine, um, you can imagine a time long, long ago. Because I think, I, think, I, think I, I studied it very briefly when I was, I was doing a play about Mozart, and Mozart lived in Prague for a while. And you can just imagine that, that whole world of the incredible, and the, the theatre, from, from an actor's point of view, some of the theatres in, in Prague are just absolutely stunning. The municipal hall, where they do classical concerts and things, it just blows your mind. I just think some of the, the church that we filmed in yesterday, we filmed the papal funeral yesterday, you, you don't find locations like that in, in England. You couldn't film with that. It's something very, very specific about the grandeur and the kind of, it was kind of absurd in a kind of good way. The, the, just, the, just the absolute excess of this church being put in, a, in an international environment, which it really is. I mean, it's like, it's like the UN in here some days. Everybody speaks a different language. And, but everybody's just been so, so very welcoming, you know, making the effort to get to know each other. And the central, my central unit of me, uh, Mark, Stanley, Dermot and, and John, we're all, we're getting all very, very close. It's not took much effort, we're getting really, really well. We seem to have um, shared interests and things. But yeah, they're really, really nice to act with.
very, very supportive, very, very, they give you a lot back in scenes. What I think the audience will enjoy about this show is, I think it works on so many levels. I think, I think people who like drama will be drawn in by the complexity of the relationships between the characters, the kind of multi-dimensional, multi-faceted aspects of this family and subtext as well. There's so much fantastic subtext in this about people hiding things, uh, disguising some things, kind of keeping things away from each other that we see, that the audience will see, a kind of dramatic irony of we can see people lying. That's always great when you can see people lying to people. The audience get drawn in by, oh, we know the truth and we know what he's doing there. It's got really very strong themes and it's got a lot of taboo themes. Love that or not, love some of the, you know, the darkest of, of incest and things like that. Love, I'm not saying anybody loves that, but, but kind of no matter how you react to that, you can't help but react to it. You know, I mean, it's not something that you can, you can just take or leave. You feel very strongly about it one way or the other. And I think, I think that's quite a brave choice.